What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We got my boy Simple Reacts with me on this one. Problems on the longest stage. Itchy boots rides Kalahari Rally. First off, I've never been on like a cross country motorcycle ride just because I think those people are crazy. Simple. He mm. likes the whole BMXing through the woods and kind of thing. So I figured pull him in for this one. He'll probably enjoy it as well. It's coming at us via donation from Noah. Much, much love. I appreciate the support 100%. What do you think, Simple? You want to ride across the desert? It seemed to me like you got to worry about more than just like it being hot. There's animals I in mean, the desert in the Kalahari and shit. Like, not only that, all that dust getting into the uh, filtration on the bike, I, it can't be good. The, I mean, all the dust getting into your lungs, all the dust, <laughs> like, not to mention sand. If you've ever ridden any kind of vehicle across sand, you know that it can get quite slick should you turn a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It will most yeah, certainly this, be. This is gonna be crazy. It'll be an interesting ride. It's about twenty-five <laughs> minutes, so buckle up, people. We're gonna watch this. We're gonna see what Itchy Boots. Itchy Boots. That's a hell of a name already. Like, definitely mm. go check out his channel for even having the content up there for us to check out. Let's go. That's a that's a ballsy move across the Kalahari. I'm assuming he's done across a lot of different terrains though before you try to take on the desert. Like, take on something like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty extreme. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. He's cruising. No, 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 no. You see? You see? We ain't even 44 seconds in yet. Didn't I say animals at the beginning? <laughs> Didn't I say there's animals in the damn desert? We almost took out... What was that? A fox? I think it was a just a dog, like a random... What the hell's the dog it doing a in the desert? Maybe on the side of the road. Yeah, maybe it's a dog herder. <laughs> I mean, they got power lines right here, so they they could be close to civilization type of thing. You almost maybe. killed somebody's I, dog. I, mm, yeah, <laughs> that's what almost happened right here. I could see it coming, but you're moving fast. That dog has fast. probably never seen a motorcycle come at it so fast in its life. Dog's probably never seen anything come at it that fast in its life. You live in the desert, tortoises maybe, like. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Itchy boots? That just said one woman. I totally mm -hmm. looked at that the wrong way. Okay. Hardcore. You got hey, more hardcore than me. I saw it. One woman, forgive me if I said man at all in the beginning, or he. That's that was just an assumption, and I guess I made an asshole out of myself. Like, woo! <laughs> all right, all right, show us up, itchy boots. Let's go. in the morning and welcome back to the channel welcome back to the Kalahari uh, rally today is stage number five it's going to be a super long day close to 800 kilometers I'm leaving in the dark and it's likely that I'll be arriving in the dark first stretch is a little bit of tar I'm leaving in the dark and it's likely that I'll be arriving again in the dark that's a long ride on a motorcycle through yeah. a, through a terrain that's not even like paved you want to talk about a sore ass the next day it's a lot of endurance yeah no, you gotta have some <laughs> strength that's a strong woman right there don't even mess around sure. with itchy boots and then i'm seeing <laughs> a sand section which is right alongside the border with botswana alongside the Molopo river and after that well i don't know we'll see what happens after that today fuel is going to be very difficult. I have to preserve my fuel and find some local fuel on the way. Um, I have to find some local fuel on the way. She said, "Fine." Yeah. That means that there are open. That means that there are not set up fuel places on this map. <laughs> now, now this is just a rally. Like they're like, yeah, we're gonna set up this rally in the desert, right? <laughs> but we're not gonna tell you where you can get gas. So if you have to. Good luck. Like it's kind of it's kind of, what was that thing? What was that thing? 
where they the, where they did like the race around the world the you know what I'm talking? I was instantly thinking Cannonball Run, but uh, that was I think that was just across the United States. I mean, it could have been in other places. How too, are you gonna send me on a scavenger hunt for some fuel? It, <laughs> like, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna yeah. have to find some local fuel on the way. You better hope somebody out there has some fuel. Yeah, I'm assuming, assuming the local goat herders ain't gonna help you. Like, you better get on that bike and start uh, yeah, riding. I hear ride running. On the, the rally's bowsers because probably I'll be ahead of the bowsers, so they will probably be behind me. So I might have to look for my own field today, but let's see how it goes. Um, I'm going to try to not run right too fast so that I can save some fuel. But I've been telling myself that every every stage, and then I find it very hard to slow down. Um, yeah, all right, guys. She got a lead hand, yeah. lead gloves. Mm. Need for speed right there. Yeah, I find it very hard to slow down. Okay, let's go. My starting time is six o'clock. So That's a dark six o'clock in the morning. Time. I have my garden mm. tracker. Very important device because there's no <clears throat> signal nowhere. That's what I was just thinking. You're getting ready to cut across a complete part of wilderness with no street lamps whatsoever. That's yeah. not paved. How do you not get lost no in the middle tracker. of the desert? I think she just said the GPS sometimes doesn't even connect. Like, bro. So you have to have your row. This is just getting more and more sketchy and dangerous <laughs> as we learn more. Like, I, I hope she's wearing some kind of GPS thing that like someone can at least, you know what I mean? Like these people have to wear something, right? When they ride through. I would assume there's some sort of safety you know, device that lets people come and find them if something goes wrong. Like maybe yeah, a beacon. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I was you're, thinking. You're talking Something about, like, the darkest dark areas <laughs> of the world. You know what I mean? Like, hey, there is no light pollution. There's no, like, I don't it's know. I don't know if I want to go through the too. desert in the dark anyway. Yeah. Not in the pitch black with nothing but Especially a motorcycle <laughs> headlamp. Random dogs and shit standing on yeah, the I, road. I, I, don't, I just. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's I would crazy. Be, I don't know if I could do it. I might chicken out. So with this garment tracker, look how dark it is. Control knows where I am at all times. Okay. 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 So they do know where she is. Okay, let's go. Go go go. Go go go. Oh, where are you can't even see no. where you're go go going. Just, right. Don't tell me. I came here for nothing. The gas station is closed. Why wouldn't you be open the day of the rally? Right. Oh my gosh. Morning. Hi. This one's open. Yeah, it's open already. It's open. Okay, thanks. That's a good oh, dude right there. Two of them. Right. Oh, awesome. He knew what was up. So he saw her coming and he's like, yeah, I know what's going on. Morning. My hands are. Oh, dude! I yeah, can imagine that your you hands would, that? from the vibrations and everything, your hands would be so that, swollen. The, the desert is so cold at night. Like it gets so hot during the day, people don't really expect it to get cold. But when night hits, it gets it, cold, 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 cold. <laughs> <laughs> so this was an extra <clears throat> detour. This actually is an extra 24 kilometers to my right. 12 here and 12 back. But wow. I didn't want to risk it because my next fuel stop is going to be a fuel bowser that is at the start of the special stage one. Or it's supposed to be there. But uh, I'm not sure if I can make it in time there. And I don't know if that fuel bowser will wait. So, and if I miss that one, I don't make it to uh, Van Zals Ross. So, I thought I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just going to ride here. And Living up. on the edge the whole time. Um, These are all so extremely dirt roads. Like. And no, that, like she that, is literally yeah, checkpointing from fuel station to hoping this place is going to be there yeah. waiting. Like, 
<clears throat> That's crazy. This is crazy. Uh, it's crazy to me that there's like no kind of worries about speed limit, about anything. We're on actual roads right this second. So then she was yeah. she's still hauling. She's going. Like have you noticed another vehicle? I, I haven't really. I have. Oh, oh, yeah. here it comes one. That's my strategy. And if that fuel box is still there, then I will also fill up there again. Yo, that truck was okay, flying too. I'm back on road. Yeah. I finished my 24 kilometer extra loop to, to get fuel. And now I'm on the way to the Botswana border, to the Malopo River. And uh, that's going to be her. Uh, Jeez. Well, this is going to be the hardest running of the day, I think. The sun is now uh, coming up, so at least it's light. It's just still really, really cold. It's absolutely freezing. This right here is already the border. This is the border fence of Botswana. So... That's it. That's a hell of a border fence. <laughs> like, right? I wouldn't even have known it was there unless you pointed it out. <laughs> just the just thought you were driving down another dirt road. You wouldn't even know you just crossed into another country. Nope. Not at all. Hey! What is this? Why, why are you not starting? We're waiting for you. <laughs> it's 230 mm. to two van zelfs. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. <laughs> I was right in not trusting the information that there was going to be a fuel bowser here. It's not here. So it already paid off that I rode 24 kilometers extra. To ah, Ashland. smart to bring your own little to gas tank too. Fill up mm -hmm. the main tank. That's a cool gas tank. It's all flat. Anyway, because the first uh, side by side still need to start a special stage. Um, so I can't, we can't pass them, of course. We have to wait until. They've started and then we can go as well. So, it's a good moment to fill up this one. So, we're still waiting. They're now finally leaving oh, the side by side in the cars. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, that six thing. have gone. And then we can go. But I should make it to Van Zels with, I put this one in my main tank, so I should make it there, that's like 100 k's, a little over 100, and then I can fill up there again, and then that next stretch is going to be very tricky, but we'll see. That thing sounds like a monster. Mm -hmm. We go? But she didn't waste no time. No, she's like, all right, howdy. Bro, bro, bro. She's Look at the front end of the... She's going, 96, see it? she's going 96 kilometers an hour on sand. Yeah. Good tires. A lot of things you gotta trust doing this, I guess. And the vibrations Have faith will kill in your, your body. <laughs> oh, oh, look at the bike twerk! You see that? This is what I'm saying, bro. You're, you're scorpion tailing and shit out. Oh, nah. Nah. <laughs> you wanna talk about some butthole puckering riding? That's right there. Yo, That's yes. That's what that yes. is. <laughs> no. Itchy boots got my respect. <laughs> I just keep watching. It. It's like. Come on, go faster, Savannah! This is 
go faster. I'm flat out, but this thick sand just slowed me down massively. Come on! This is intense as hell. This is a lot more intense than I thought I was going to be. I can only imagine what it looks like behind her. The rooster tail she's leaving behind. Because <laughs> you get it, she's flat out, she said. Which means she's in top gear, throttle all the way turned, like, flying. Flying right now. Or maybe just topped out in the gear that she's in, but still. This like, is intense as hell. Who, who would have thought just running across Watching the, the bike just yeah, kind of like... Slide across. It would be, like, this is almost the ground that you could have a sled on one of your tires. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, those those bikes that got the big back tire and just that that little like snow ski sled in the front. Yep. Yep. Holy <laughs> Christ. I don't have the Whoa. power. Hold that. Mm. Oh my god. Here, let off the throttle. Mm-hmm. We got sketchy for a second. I just noticed that sometimes the camera goes down. Is she standing up while she's hauling ass down these roads? I'm wonder I'm wondering if she's like actually crouching yeah, to get maybe she's crouching first better maybe. aerodynamics. Cause that's what bicyclists do, right? I, I when hope, they when I, they get in that they I get in that like watches, lean. I hope she watches this reaction and fills us in on some of what is going on because right? the things that must be going through her mind. You gotta worry about so many I'd be worried about the obstacles. Like <laughs> did do they get a chance to ride the track first? Probably not. No. Like, I you this know, whole time, I'm just thinking about the ruts from you know, the like buggies. Most, most, most bike ones, they get a chance to run the thing first before the actual mm -hmm. event. They get a chance to run it a few times, make sure they're comfortable with it. Bobsled teams, they know the tracks by heart. They get to run them. They get to practice them. They get to look at the maps. Yeah. This is like some cross country. The, the, the land could be changing at any time, <laughs> kind of. I wonder if that's why they have her go behind the buggies so the buggies can scare away any potential animals, maybe? like mm. Maybe, yeah, because they're so loud. Very cool. Or even just to knock yeah, stuff down. Yeah, I want to know more about this. This is very interesting to me. I don't, may not be into any kind of sports, but this to me, this is, this is hardcore. Like just yeah. hauling ass on a bike through this, through terrain that you're not very comfortable or familiar with. Oh, my goodness. The pinnacle of skill. Yeah. Just following tire tracks in the middle of the desert. <laughs> like <laughs> it's no wonder the GPS doesn't know where you're at. It can't keep up. Yo, right? that's deep sand. Oh, don't stop. You never get it going again.
Man, I'm telling you, with a sport like this, it's not a matter of if you're going to fall down. It's a matter of when you're going to fall down. Yeah. Like, yeah, fighting it the entire time. <laughs> like you have to 100% this course, one go, there is no redo. <laughs> now, you, you, I'm saying something out there, some kind of tree branch or something. Like, you know what I mean? That could be anything. A rock, something just out of place. You hit the wrong kind of bump, yeah. the wrong kind of way and slide in that sense. It's only a matter of time before somebody takes a spill. Like, and that somebody yeah. is going to be you eventually if you do this kind of sport. It's just going to happen. Every you, time that bike shakes, man, I'm just like... Oh, I, get, I get nervous. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand how they do it. Like how, especially if you suffer that fall, a lot of people ain't getting back on the bike after that. Mm. Like this, is, yeah. this takes a hard individual to do something like this. Soft sand is pretty hard to hit. I mean, it bunches up quick, so... Yeah, no, you it's Build still... the wall that you run into. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. Are we running with a special kind of tires? We they gotta be. We gotta be. That's great off road. That's not even a road. Yeah. However, you can get across it, I guess. So I just made it to Van Zell's Pass uh, with the fuel I just made it and as I roll oh into town gosh. I know I got a flat tire so it's a front um, but I also just realized that I don't have I'm missing one tool to replace that one I have all the tools for the, tools for the rear tire because I always get a flat on the rear and now it's the front so oh yeah. man I mean, at least they got this bike shop sitting here, right? Yeah. Everybody's ready to go. Can I put it down? She does it old school style, like the Thai mechanics. Like, that's how they change your tire out over here, just with that little hand tool and put a throw yeah. a new one in there. Like, it's like changing out just a bicycle tire. Huh? No, maybe I still need the tool. Can I have the tool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some good nubs on those tires. Yeah, there are. <clears throat> Just one more time, like that. Take it up to 60. I just want to see if the speed is working. Okay. I still need to fuel up now. I haven't done that yet, so oh, it's still 600 kilometers, and it's already 11:30. Oh it was goodness. a thorn that I picked up on my front uh, tire, but anyway, I fixed it. So now I'm just fueling up, and off we go. Camel pack. Yep, the best things in the world. I bring one of those fishing. Please to the to the top, to the top. top. All the way to the top. To yeah, the more, more. Yeah. Yeah. Tilt that thing backwards. Get that air bubble out. Yeah. Perfect. And this one a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. It's leaking. Uh oh. That's the only downside of those gas cans. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when the those plastic covers 
That stupid little cap in the center, man. I hate those things. It's the only downside. Oh. The rubber's the ripped. Mm. Can't break on me now. Still need it. At least now it breaks upward, right? Oh no! See this? Because all the knobs are down, so you put the pressure on it. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. Guys, just keep a bag. Yeah. You put the plastic bag over it. Okay. Just fold the bag. Yeah. Fold the bag. Uh, okay. Fix it now with some insulation tape. I might have to redo it again along the way, but for now it doesn't leak. That's good. It's All so that time. Ridiculous. It's getting hot. How much? I want. How do I wonder you, how much time she lost. Yeah, like, how do you... Like me, I would probably get lo lost daydreaming along the way, number one. Like, just <laughs> looking at things, the nature... You see the... Ellie standing in the desert like, yo, look at that. Especially in the nighttime you... when you're in the darkest dark and you can see all of the stars. I'm like, I have to oh, stop yeah. for a few minutes. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Seriously, they, I never knew that they did this kind of intense across the desert, across the random terrain kind of stuff. That's cool to me. Like that, right. that kind of going into the unknown kind of sport. Yeah, take some guts. Yeah, it does. That's, that's... Okay. Let's go back. They really do gotta go get some real local fuel. That's how they. Ooh. That's how we. Some people sell fuel here, in whiskey bottles. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect. He knows, so he's like, yep, hold on. Let me top that off a little more. Ah, uh, five liters is one thirty plus half. One eighty. What is the leash? One eighty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. If if you see more motorbikes. You just wave. They're looking for Petro also. And that's how you throw them off the scent. Good job. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Bye. Bye. I would have bought that whole bottle and told them that. But like, how much is it for that whole thing right there? I'm taking yeah. one with me. <laughs> Anybody else comes by, you just tell them. Keep going. Which is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> and I forwarded the location to the other riders. So if there's anyone else. It's cool that they kind of collaborate and work together. Fuel, yeah, and, uh, that is really cool. They will uh, have the pit location. I honestly thought she was throwing them off the scent, though. The like, haha, you ain't finding this gotcha. one. I mean, I'm sure it takes a lot of teamwork. Those were and mules. Do you need anything? Okay. Imagine that though, being in a sport where it is like a rally, but everybody's together. Yeah, everyone's you know, everybody helps like, each other. Oh, everybody somebody, watches out. Like, see, have someone having issues, you're definitely gonna be like, "Hey, you good? You good? Yeah, like, you run out of water. Yeah, what you got? I got you." <laughs> not just about the competition. Yeah, that's something to be appreciated. That's cool.
See him? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's sand. That's like sand dunes. Yeah, that's some soft stuff right there. Mm. Oh. Whoa. I was not expecting to see a semi-truck way out in the middle of nowhere like that. I'm saying coming up on her as fast as she was, that's, that's pretty scary. Yeah, that thing was hauling. Quite literally. Mm. No, 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 oh, no, there's no, no, a no. dog. Mm. Well, that's a random stop sign if I ever seen one. That's a truck, boy. Mm-hmm. One of the cars is behind me. I'm trying to find a place where I can safely pull over so he can overtake me. It's a good place. <laughs> oh, it's the orange one. I want to do this in a car. Did you yep. see how fast that thing was flying? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, I buck, that get the list number that. ten. I, and like, I don't blame her for that coming there. over. I wouldn't want that guy riding up on my. No, you definitely go around me. Yeah, you have the go ahead. Like, Sorry? How are you? Good, good, thanks. <laughs> Tired. Long day, huh? Where you go? Mafi Gang. Yeah. Today we come from Rietfontein. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you see the cars passing? Yeah. <laughs> Good, huh? How do you not see them passing? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> you see many motorbikes pass? Excuse? Motorbikes? Many? Yes. Okay. How many? Uh, maybe four or six. Four or six, okay. Yeah. Thanks. How much is it? 80 rand. 80 rand. <laughs> See you! Random petrol station in the middle of nowhere. Gonna let that slip. We've away, cows. Cows. Oh, yep. We got cows. Hope that thing don't start chasing you down. I'm here. Seen those videos? I'm yeah. Wild boar and stuff. Start chasing the ATVs. Just fill up. So it took me just over 12 hours. 12 hours and 5 minutes or something. Holy it's still daylight, just about. So that was good. That's so incredible. So super long day. I am so tired. Uh, I'm glad that I made it back just before dark. Uh, that saves a lot of hassle. And there's so many animals on the roads and donkeys on the road and stuff that last bit. But uh, yeah, it was just, I was just gunning it the whole time. It took me over 12 hours without the puncture and without all the searching for fuel, it would have been a lot faster. But uh, yeah, there was, um, yeah, there was no fuel from the rally. So I had to sort out my own fuel. So luckily I, I'm, I'm kind of used to that, but um, none of these fuel stops were on maps or anything. So uh, it just took a lot of extra time and energy and everything. But uh, other than That's that, uh, the ride, uh, there was a lot of sand today. 
uh, most of the sand I well I don't know what I recorded I tried to record my batteries were going flat the whole time I think because I then forgot to switch the camera off and then the battery would go flat um, I was just so focused on getting here making it in time and to worry so much about the camera so I hope I got some good shots but yeah I'll see it later when I look at the footage but um, yeah lots of sand uh, some parts of the ride are pretty cool and the rest yeah, it was just really really long so I'm completely finished uh, tomorrow is the last stage stage six um, but it's only going to be a short one I think 100 kilometers so we should be fine other than that Savannah did well I'm glad when I fixed the puncture nothing else happened um, yeah Savannah made it for the rest so I'm pretty pretty happy with that um, so yeah now I'm just going to well, I don't know what I'm going to do it's probably going to be a briefing but I think a lot of riders are going to be really really late uh, there's almost nobody here yet so um, I already heard they, they're expecting most of the riders just or now some of the riders to come only in at like one or two in the, in the morning so um, yeah they're still very far away so I don't know what will happen with the briefing and everything but anyway I'm going to take my uh, gear off and uh, yeah let's see what happens tomorrow so that was it for today Really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. And most certainly go give Itty Boost a like and a subscribe. That's ridiculous. Uh, it, the, yeah. gut, the gut said it would take to even do something like that. 12 hour <laughs> ride. How many damn kilometers through the sand? Like, no, that's exhausting yeah. both physically and mentally. Not something that I would be, not something that I'd probably be able to do. Like, I reckon that takes a hell of a lot of training to get your body used to bouncing around like that, to be able to ride it the right way and absorb the shocks. And You're talking a whole week, basically, of riding, right? This was a 12-hour ride. This is stage five. She had stage six left, which means there's four previous stages. Like, it's just amazing how long the rally is, I guess, in general, in... To see how, I don't know, how it looked like she kind of handled it pretty easily, right? She was just cruising through everything. It didn't really seem like anything really bothered her, nothing. Yeah, no, that's definitely, it seemed like her mind was just set. Like, she knew what she needed to do. Yeah. She made it happen. And she got there before a hell of a lot of the other riders even were thinking about showing up. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I that wouldn't really be able cool. to be squirrel tailing around like that. It would just be a butthole pucker <laughs> experience hours. all the way. Like 12 hours of holy shit moments. Definitely a cool yep. one. Uh, I'm, I would watch some more for sure. Let's do some more rally yeah. stuff if you guys want to see it. Go show Itchy Boo some love. Sippy, you got anything else? Um, Definitely make sure you guys stop by the channel. I got some other downhill mountain bike stuff and uphill climb stuff and other dirt bike stuff and I don't know, we've kind of been, kind of been dabbling in the dirt bike and racing-type venue. So, yeah, definitely stop by the channel. Most Check it out. certainly go show Simple React some love on his channel. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Check out one of the other videos that's floating around somewhere on the screen. Uh, until the next one, I'm highly combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.